Hi, it's Tony Joe from Remax Camosun here in Victoria, British Columbia. Today is September the 4th. It's the day after Labor Day long weekend, and we are uh, here to give you the numbers for August 2012 as far as real estate stats in Victoria are concerned. So we ended up at 462 sales. A couple of weeks ago, I forecasted that we were going to end up probably in the lower 400s. Um, so I was a little bit off, but the bottom line is we are actually quite a bit off from August of 2011. The sales there ended up at 542 sales. So we are about 15% below where we were this time last year. And that is, by the way, the number of sales, and that's not necessarily uh, values. I don't have the average uh, prices for the month so far. Uh, we're going to get that probably tomorrow, uh, and I will report the, uh, on that uh, regard sometime next week. Uh, anyways, 462 sales. We've had 1,025 new listings, which again is below last year's figure of 1,200. Uh, and we finished up with 5,034 listings versus 4,944 last year. So there's a few things uh, to point out. The first thing is, as I said, the number of new listings coming in has reduced. And, you know, this is typical of this time of year. We will be seeing a reduction in new inventory uh, for the rest of the year as well. Now, we ended up at 5,034 uh, total inventory versus 4,800 last week. And to some, that is very strange. But when you think about it, we had an increase of about 200 listings. Uh, whereas we finished off at about 170 uh, listings higher than last week. And there's two reasons for that. One is, of course, there were some sales. I mean, there was about 110 sales that happened. But the other thing, too, is properties fall off the market as well, too, having been on for a while and not being able to sell. So talking about that 462 number, uh, I was looking at the rest of the month, and you remember it started off very slowly. We started off with 75 sales the first week. Uh, then it went to 153, so about a 80-unit uh, uh, increase for the month. After that, it was 254, which is a 100-unit increase. Then 358, another 100 units, and then fine. So basically, we were increasing 100 units per week. And that is a little bit off because typically, like um, for instance, the year, or sorry, the month before, uh, we were at 130 or 140 increase per week. So sales are down. Now, what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Um, it means that things are softer. Um, however, for people like myself, we did seven transactions in 10 days. So of the whatever is 110 that happened, uh, we, I guess we represent about 7% of Victoria Real Estate Board's production. So it is not necessarily true that the market is dead. Uh, I had mentioned last week that we had a number of listings sell that had been on market for some time. Uh, for us, for the rest of uh, the week and into this week here, we had a number of people that ended up buying uh, and people that ended up getting pretty nice uh, deals, but on the other hand, not steals like some people would expect. So good times still because the inventory is high. There are some sellers out there that are anxious. Money remains very cheap at very low interest rates. Uh, so, uh, you know, if anyone's thinking that the market is going to go down, we're not seeing signs of major price reductions. So um, I think things will be good for the next little bit. Uh, we have a sense that September will start very strong. Uh, and because of the fact that we know building inspectors have been busy, mortgage brokers have been busy with pre-approvals, uh, we know that showings have been increased, so we're likely going to see stronger numbers for the first two weeks of, of September. Uh, anyways, I'm Tony Joe. Until next week, talk to you then.